Hi there, welcome, I'm Laya. Today's practice is designed to help you build more resilience and more tolerance. And when I say resilience and tolerance, I mean toward yourself first. When we're not in the state that we think we should be, or we're not producing enough, or being who we think we should be for others, we can be very hard on ourselves, I know I am. And building this resilience means being strong enough to be kind. It is much easier for me to be kind when things are going well than when things are not. I find that getting on my mat and doing some of the postures that we will be exploring today really helps me reconnect with the patience in me that knows that life is a process and that there are ups and downs. All you'll need for the practice today are two blocks if you have them, not necessary though, and your own precious self. Let's go. Bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. You can sit on the ground or on a chair. And perhaps you take a little bit of time to roll your shoulders, move your neck. And just give yourself permission to arrive into the space that you're in, whether you're indoors and out or outdoors, by looking at the colors, the shapes, and the textures. And then once you feel ready, you can bring yourself to stillness. Softening your gaze down toward the earth, or you can also close your eyes. And just like you did by looking around, I invite you now to listen around. Sounds of people, nature, of life. Whether the day is starting or in the middle or ending, can you recognize that you are taking this time aside, away from the world, just for you? Take a deep breath in through your nose, letting your belly, your rib cage, and your chest expand. Open your mouth inside out. Again, inhale, fill up your entire body. Exhale, soften and settle. Inhale, notice your spine growing a little bit taller. Exhale, notice yourself grounding more and perhaps relaxing even if it's just 1% more toward the earth and toward the support beneath you. And observe your physical body now. The sensations that you feel and that arise as you move your attention perhaps from the bottom up, or in any way that feels good for you. How does your physical body feel right now? Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Recognizing that even if there's tightness and discomfort and stories arising, Perhaps there's also space for softness, goodness, and presence. Take a deep breath in. Side out. Bringing your attention to your mind now. And if perhaps you find it reeling or scattered, just observe the words that you are using to describe what's going on in your mental world. Are you being kind to yourself? Which kind of dialogue are you allowing to take place in your own head? And how much importance are you giving it? Most important of all. Take a deep breath in through your nose, letting it expand front to back side to side, top to bottom. Open your mouth and side out, perhaps making sound. <sighs> Bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart if that connects with you today. Becoming aware of your heartbeat, of the cadence of your inhale and your exhale. 
and I invite you now to consider an intention for this day, for this week. And my invitation is, if you want to take it, to ask yourself, where can I build and create more tolerance in my life? Whether that's toward yourself or others or a specific situation. How can I be more patient? How can I be stronger and more resilient? But most of all, how can I be kinder? Take a deep breath in and let it go. Release your hands back down toward your knees. If you lifted them up, round through your sitting bones, lengthen through your spine. Inhale, filling up your entire body. Exhale, sighing out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, lift your shoulders up toward your ears. Perhaps bring your hands to fists. Maybe curl your toes as well and squeeze your entire body, as many muscles as you can feel right now. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And then release it all. <sighs> Take a regular deep breath in. And on your exhalation, start to bring your right ear toward the right shoulder, relaxing your left shoulder a little further down, or maybe extending your left arm out to the side. Breathe in. Breathe out, bring your left hand down, neck back to neutral, inhale. Exhale, take the other ear to the shoulder and stay here, grounding down through the right shoulder or perhaps extending your right arm out. Notice what feels best for you right now, breathe in. Breathe out, lower your hand, bring your neck back to neutral. Start to lean back a little bit as you bring your feet in front of you on the ground, bringing them a little bit wider than your hips, if that feels good for you, and your hands can go as far back as you want. And then start to gently move your knees a little bit side to side. Perhaps you'd rather shake your legs. It's whatever allows you to release some of the sensation that might arise from sitting in the same position for a while. And just take a couple more breaths here. One more, inhale, and exhale. Allow your feet to ground, your hands to remain on the floor, and on your inhalation, lift your chest. Running from collarbone to collarbone, and on your exhalation, let your chest melt between your knees. You can feel free to walk your feet a little bit closer, give yourself a hug and relax your head down. Feel free to sway a little side to side or find stillness here, breathe in. Breathe out. Press yourself up, lengthen through your spine. Now from here, start to lift your chest up and perhaps your heels lift off the floor. Drawing your chest toward your thighs and your, your thighs toward your chest. And your hands can stay underneath your knees here. Maybe you bring them out to the sides. Just start to notice your core. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, draw the soles of your feet toward one another. They don't necessarily need to touch. And then let yourself Fold forward as your knees draw open. Relax your head down. Inhale, draw the nose in and up toward the midline. Lift your chest. And on your exhalation, let your chest lead forward and down and your head relax last. Again, inhale, slowly come, forward, come all the way up, lifting your chest, lifting your gaze. And exhale, slowly coming down. Let yourself stay here. Maybe sway to the right, sway to the left for a couple of breaths. And then slowly pausing at the center. Lift your chest, draw your knees toward one another. Bring your hands behind you on the floor. They can face whatever direction. If your palms face away from you, you may find a little bit um, more space in the shoulders. If you face them toward you, it may be a little bit stronger on the shoulders. But on your inhalation, wherever you are, lift your chest, broadening the front of the body. And maybe stay or feel free to lift your hips off the floor, keeping your gaze forward until your hips are knees and chest height. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower yourself down and either sweep your legs toward one side or maybe cross at the ankles as you bring yourself toward a tabletop position. Coming into hands and knees, feel free to bring a blanket underneath your knees if that gives you more support. And for a moment, I invite you to move freely. Maybe you take a couple of circles with your hips one way and then the other. Maybe there's other movement that you'd rather do. Maybe you'd rather find stillness in the pulse. Inhale. 
and exhale. Pause at the center, and on your inhalation, tuck your toes, shift your weight back toward your heels, and stay there, stretching through the soles of the feet, or perhaps draw your hands toward you, lift them out and up, maybe lift your arms all the way overhead, breathe in, and as you breathe out, unite your palms and draw them together in front of your heart, and give yourself a moment to breathe and notice the sensation that arises through the soles of the feet. How can you in this moment tap into a little bit more, if you will, tolerance of this sensation? Knowing that at any moment you can get out of the shape. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, when you're ready, bring your hands forward, lean forward, lift your toes, and you can tap them on the floor where you are, it's okay to make noise. Or you can roll your ankles one way and then the other. Shift your weight forward toward a knee plank, breathe in. And as you breathe out, let yourself come down to your abdomen, making a pillow with your hands and resting your forehead down for a moment. Inhale, breathe into your back body. Exhale, relax over the earth. One more, inhale into the back body. Exhale, relax. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, squeeze your elbows straight back. Inhale, lift your chest coming into cobra and opening through the front of the body. And on your exhalation, take your hips back and bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees a little, bringing yourself toward child's pose. Your forehead could be on the ground or on blocks or resting on your hands if you want. Breathe in. Breathe out. Extend your arms forward if they're not already there. Allow your knees to remain wide and on your inhalation, start to ripple forward. Lift your toes off the floor and start to send your hips forward and down as you lift your chest and open up to the front body. There's a chance that some people are like, ooh, my head and my toes touch. Okay, <laughs> breathe. One more, inhale. And on your exhalation, take your hips back. Now align your hips and your feet. Perhaps your knees come in a little bit. And you can stay here in tabletop or send your hips up and back, lifting your knees off the earth, bringing yourself to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and let it go. One more inhale. And exhale. Gaze toward the top of your mat, whether your knees are down or not. And take your time until you find yourself walking all the way to the top. Hands can come to your blocks, your shins, the floor, it's up to you. Inhale, lengthening through your spine, flat back. And on your exhalation, let your knees soften and off that you can let your abdomen almost rest on the thighs and your head relax fully down. And I invite you here to either sway back and forth. Or if you're feeling tension on your neck, of course, feel free to shake your head, yes and no. Or also catch the tops of your ears, so pinch the tops of your ears and then kind of massage your ears with your hands. One more breath, wherever you are, inhale. And on your exhalation, release your hands back down, press your feet firmly onto the ground, inhale, rise slowly. Find length through the legs, through the side body, reach up, palms unite overhead, perhaps your gaze follows. Exhale, draw the energy down, 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 hands find your blocks, the floor, whatever support you want. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Frame your right foot with your blocks or your hands and start to float your left leg behind you until you step your left foot as far back as you want to take it. Feel free to keep your left knee off the floor or if you'd rather join me, lower your left knee down to the ground. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward and stay or on your inhalation, press down firmly into your right foot and sweep your arms straight up overhead. Face your palms forward and on your exhalation, bend your elbows, bringing your arms into cactus here. Breathe in. And breathe out, take your right arm over your left, take your hands toward your shoulders, and stay here, lifting your elbows away from your chest, or if you rather, you can start to bring the backs of your hands toward each other or your palms toward each other. But sustain the stability of the lower body and stay with your breath. Everything else is secondary. Your breath is what matters. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the bind if you have it on the arms. Inhale, take both arms all the way up. Exhale, frame your right foot. Lift your left knee off the ground. If it's down, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take a big step forward with your left foot, bringing your feet parallel to one another. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise, stretch up. Find length, take up a little bit more space than you did before. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Allowing yourself to move with the breath. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant your left foot firmly, frame it and step your right foot back. Lower your right knee or keep it off the floor. It's absolutely your choice. And on your inhalation, start to lift yourself up. Take your arms straight up. Face your palms forward. And on your exhalation, start to bend your elbows, lifting your chest and opening up to the front body. Breathe in. Breathe out, left arm over right this time. If you're like, I already did that side, well then do the other, it's all good. Bring your hands toward your shoulders, lift your elbows a bit more to increase the sensation, or bring the backs of the hands toward one another, or the palms to touch into eagle arms. And if you're wobbly here, or anything arises, again, how can I just be tolerant of what's going on in the moment? How can I be okay with what is? Breathe in. And as you breathe out, release your arms, lift them up, inhale. Exhale, frame your left foot. Step your right foot to meet your left at the top of the mat. Take your time to get there, there's absolutely no rush. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Rise up, inhale, stretch. Extend your entire body. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart and then all the way down next to the body for mountain pose. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Maybe shifting your weight from one foot to the other. Just noticing the strength that you have just for being. You don't have to be doing anything in particular to recognize your own power. And your power is not always to do or say or have an opinion. Sometimes the power is in just being and observing. Deep breath in. Side out. Sweep your arms forward and up. Take your gaze up if you'd like. Inhale. Exhale, send your hips back. Bend your knees. And you could keep your arms by your ears or if you rather, you can lower them shoulders level. It's whatever feels best for your shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep both arms by your hips. Inhale, sweep your arms forward or up. Lift your left heel and stay here or start to extend your right leg and maybe your left toes stay on the floor or they could land on your block they could also float. Your hands can come to your hips if you want to. Breathe in. Breathe out, ground strongly into your right leg. Take your left toes all the way back, land them behind you. Feel free to lower your right knee to the floor or keep it up. Inhale, sweep your arms forward. Face your palms to face forward. Exhale, bring your elbows. Inhale here, opening even more. Exhale, right arm over left. Find whatever bind with the arms that works for you today. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, take your elbows down to where your right knee, continue to reach back through your left heel. If your left knee is grounded, press down through your knee as well. Inhale, slowly lift back up, use your core. Exhale, lower it down. Can you be okay with the wobbles? One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower it down. You can stay down here as you release the bind, take your arms out to the sides if you have the space where you are. You can also interlace your hands behind your back and extend through your arms. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands to your blocks or the floor. Step your left foot forward. Top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Rise up, stretch up, breathe in. Breathe out, hands in front of your heart and then release them down and next to your body. Take a moment to connect to the cadence of your breath once again to connect to your intention and to ask yourself, what is one thing that I can bring into my practice, into the next movement that helps me align with my intention just a little bit more? Inhale, exhale. Send your arms forward or up, breathe in. Breathe out, hips back and down for your chair pose. Take a moment to find stability in the shape. Breathe in. Breathe out, sweep your arms by your hips. Sweep your arms forward or up, lift your right heel this time and stay here, or maybe start to extend your left leg. Your toes can start to float, hands come to your hips for more stability. Breathe in, notice what arises. 
and what you have to say about it, more importantly. And on your exhalation, slowly soften your standing leg as you step your right foot all the way back. And you can come down or not. Take a moment to find a strong, stable stance. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Palms face forward. Exhale, bend your elbows for cactus arms. Open your heart, inhale. Exhale, right arm over left. Hands toward your shoulders if you want to stay there. Or eagle arms. One's not better than the other. Breathe in. Breathe out, stay, or lower your elbows down. Taking a moment here to flow and to feel. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. And exhale. Stay down here, release the bind, extend your arms out like an airplane, or perhaps take your arms behind you and interlace your hands. Breathe in. And breathe out, hands to the support. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, stretch, extend, feel whatever is there to be felt. And on your exhalation, fold again. This time, inhale, lift halfway, hands to the earth. And on your exhalation, step your feet back for a plank. You could take a chaturanga on his chest chin or you can simply turn to the tops of your feet and start to allow your hips to surrender down. For some of us, the shoulders may lift. Maybe you bend your elbows instead, yeah? Or maybe you let your shoulders stay lifted. Perhaps you move a little side to side. What would feel good here? How can you be a little bit more kind with what's going on in your body? Tolerance is also about being like, okay, this is what's going on. This is how I feel, this is what I got. How can I be kind to myself even then? Breathe in. Breathe out. Send your hips back. Big toes to touch, knees wide for a child's pose. If you want to, as always, you can bring your forehead to a block or the ground. Find movement or stillness here. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself up. Feel free to stay in tabletop or bring yourself to downward dog. It's up to you. I'll do the first side in tabletop. On your inhalation, take your right leg behind you and bend your knee. And then turn your knee out to the right. So you take a couple of circles with your right hip here one way. And then the other. Extend your right leg back again. Inhale. Now as you exhale, move your left foot to the left. Right toes come behind you and send your right arm overhead. Of course, if your right knee or your left knee was off the floor, you can bring your right toes behind you and then bring your arm overhead. So either way, you're in perhaps a variation of wild thing or side plank. Inhale. And on your exhalation, right hand comes down, right knee toward your right wrist, and the shin diagonally in front of you. You could extend your left leg back for pigeon, or you could bring your left knee to the side, sitting on the ground. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhalation, left hand toward your right knee and right hand behind you, taking a twist toward the right. And again, you could do this in deer pose or you could do this in pigeon. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, bring your hands back down in front of you, tuck your left toes and either go back to tabletop or bring yourself to downward dog. Inhale deeply through your nose. And side out. This time lift your left leg up from whatever shape you're in. Bend your knee and turn your knee open to the left. Taking a couple of circles one way. And then a couple of circles the other. Inhale to extend your left leg behind you. And exhale left knee to your left wrist. Move your shin diagonally in front of your right leg and then you can extend to the right leg, or again, if you want to bring your inner right thigh to the floor, you can do that. Also, if you have blocks, depending on how long your arms are, you may want to use a block to help you press up or to help you twist. So breathe in to lengthen, and as you breathe out, you can take a twist toward the left. Breathe wherever you are. 
Notice what arises. One more inhale. And exhale. Now, if you're not already there, surrender your left hip to the floor. Bring your right leg around. And just like we did at the beginning of practice, give yourself a little hug. Sway side to side. And I invite you to consider an inversion. Now, if you're like, oh, I know my favorite, please go for it. Otherwise, we'll go for a simple and gentle inversion. So again, this is a great one for most people, but if you choose a headstand or anything else, go for it. If you're with me though, lie on your back. You could take one of your blocks with you. And the idea is to simply extend your legs up toward the ceiling. This is an inversion, yeah? That way dog is also an inversion. You could also take this to the wall. So if you have a wall nearby, you bring one hip to the wall and then move your legs toward the wall and let yourself be there. And again, like I said, you could put a block beneath you, but you don't have to. But whatever inversion you're in, I invite you to look around as you let yourself breathe. What can you observe from here that maybe you hadn't noticed about how you feel, about how the energy is moving through you, or perhaps about the texture of your ceiling? Either way, what do you notice from here? And can you let it be as it is without the need to alter it, change it, or improve it? If you're in a less restorative inversion, I invite you to take a couple more breaths and eventually bring yourself down. Maybe into a child's pose. But eventually we'll meet on our back. If your legs are up the wall, you can start to slowly bring yourself back down. And I invite you to either stretch yourself all the way down onto the floor for the last few moments of the practice, especially if the energy of your intention is to be grounded or calm or more present. If the intention, however, is to feel more energized or awake or motivated, perhaps you bring yourself to a seated position instead. But either way, let yourself settle into stillness. Cultivating a space of just being as you are. Where patience can bloom and strength and resilience. If you have extra time today, I invite you to remain in your resting posture for three or five more minutes. Letting the practice really soak in. If it's time for you to go back into the activities of your day or your evening, I invite you to take one more breath in absolute and utter stillness. Inhaling deeply, filling up your entire body. Deepest breath you've taken all day. And let it all go. Start to notice the edges of your body again. Maybe you wiggle your fingers or your toes so you start to gently move your head side to side. Perhaps stretching is what feels natural and meaningful or yawning. And eventually, if you're not already there, start to bring yourself to a seated position. There's no rush. There's no right or wrong shape. To see if you can really notice your sitting bones and your spine. 
Noticing the energy flow up and down. Noticing the breath come in and out. And perhaps if you want to, asking yourself, just as you did at the beginning of this practice, where can I be a little bit more tolerant today? Toward myself, toward others, toward a specific situation. May I be patient. May I be strong. May I be resilient. But above all, may I be kind. Deep breath in. Inside out. Bring your palms together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra if this resonates with you. Thank you, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this practice.